how are you i'm fine abhi how are you absolutely fine uh, okay tell me about yourself uh myself dharamveer singh uh, i am a software engineer uh, with 2 years of experience and currently i am working as a full stack developer uh, at innovatica technologies and my hometown is in varanasi why you come to know about 390 challenge so uh, when i uh, come to know about the 390 challenge so uh, on the A new, new on the new year uh, so i got a mail from geeks for geeks team uh, regarding the 390 challenge so it was about like uh, uh, i will get uh, like 90% knowledge 90% refund in 90 days so i i was much curious about to know uh, know about that but i am not sure about that time i will go i am going to take that course or not so i reviewed the uh, curriculum of the course and uh, calculated the cost uh, which i have to pay after the refund so it was very less so i have decided to go for it tell me this thing uh, have you faced like have you uh, got any difficulty in completing 390 challenges so for me i have not got much difficulty like i have uh, regularly attended attended the live classes i have uh, participated in the contest so not much difficulty for me so while at uh, like uh, attending live classes or doing some problems i get doubts so that dumb uh, that doubts uh, get resolved from the uh, the doubt doubt class session uh, daily so like no much no such difficulty for me what was the course you opted for this challenge and how much the refund amount you got uh i i have taken the full stack development uh with react js and node js and uh i got a refund of 10100 and something i don't know exact amount uh, like 10000 and 100 is that oh that's it uh okay what was the best part of 390 challenge so for me like the refund part was best for me because i got the money back and mm-hmm. apart from yeah, and apart from that i also loved the live classes uh, because the mentor was so good and uh, the the way they teaches uh, every students in the class so uh, get what what he is teaching so uh, i want to thank thanks the uh, like i want to uh, take the name of the mentor uh, that is sabil khan and i uh, also want to thank the geeks for geeks team thanks uh, king i uh, was 390 challenge helpful how much helpful was 390 yeah yeah Point. yeah so so before like joining the monistack uh, course so uh, i was working in my previous company in the java technology so i am uh, new to this monistack uh, tech so uh, uh, so i joined this course like uh, i have like the live the live classes which helped me a lot and majorly and the credit goes to the mentor and the support team of the geeks for geeks so i i attended all the class, live classes and uh, like uh, completed all the projects what would be your words of motivation for the people who are taking 390 challenge this time so uh, i would say like those who are struggling like uh, how to do, uh, start with the coding so Uh, i would suggest so uh, you take the 390 challenge so it, uh, it 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 was not costing much and also you will get a lots of knowledge from this and in less amount so you don't have to worry about the cost and uh, just do the practice and take the challenge oh great that was it from my end uh, anything you want to suggest or say about geeks for geeks so i am regularly following geeks for geeks uh, for from uh, last year january uh, when i am uh, when i have taken this course so from that i have started so the 
uh, after completing the course i have regularly doing the daily problem solving so which helped me improve my dsa also so i will i i would suggest to take the course also to go for the daily challenge so uh, you will uh, uh, simultaneously improve your dsa skills as well thanks so much thank you so much dharmvi hey ayush how are you i am fine what about you absolutely fine uh, okay tell me a bit about yourself yeah my name is ayush joshi currently i am pursuing my bachelor's of technology in csc branch from graphic era hill university bimtal i have uh, currently i am belongs to uttarakhand haldwani nainital and uh, my hobbies are uh, like programming and uh, watching movies and uh, other yeah that's it great okay uh, how did you come to know about geeks for geeks 390 challenge yeah uh, it's a little bit interesting story uh, so first uh, first thing is my uh, friend purchased this course and asked uh, me to join uh like uh, uh he sit uh, in, in front of me and learn dfg and machine learning course and other things so i am i'm just watch and i just see that the teach uh, the way of teaching is very excellent so then uh, i am thinking that uh, it's a uh, good way to learn uh, many things so i join uh, dfg 390 day challenge Okay, and uh, what was the refund yeah. amount you got? Refund, I think three thousand uh, something. I got. I purchased this course uh, like five thousand uh, uh, something, and I got uh three to four thousand uh, approx. Got it. Yeah. Got. It. And uh, have you faced any difficulty uh, while taking the T three ninety challenge? Like uh, you, when you you have a goal, and uh, yeah, you can also face uh, some kind of problem and other things you have. So uh, when I have a problem, uh, so uh, I I go to WhatsApp group and uh, discuss. Um, uh discuss about my problem and uh, the community is very friendly so uh, and the teachers are also very friendly so he can teach me uh, so is this uh, way you can solve these kind of questions and uh, the problem what would be your words of motivation for someone who is taking 390 challenge this time yeah, i'm just thinking that watch uh, one video daily and don't take any uh, tension uh, like i am not complete because when you start you are, you are just thinking that i am not complete this course uh, but when you, you have you set uh, set the aim like i have watched one video per day and uh, solve uh, some questions uh, and uh, you can uh, if you are, you are a university student so uh, uh, firstly focus on one thing so not other things yeah all subject uh, cover in the last way uh, because you are you are an engineer and you have a capability to learn those subject in one night and uh, the one week so i am just thinking that uh, not a take a challenge solve uh, solve the problems that's it connecting with you for further uh, uh, hey okay. hi vishal hello ma'am uh, how how are you doing these days I'm um, absolutely fine, ma'am. Okay, in which city you are uh, right now? Because I am um, in Delhi, and it's too way too cold here. Okay, yeah. well, I'm in Chennai, and as far as the weather goes, it's fine. There's no problem with it. Cool. Okay. Ah, uh, tell us a bit about ah uh, yourself. Our audience okay, wants so, to know. So, hi there. I'm Vishal Kumar Yadav. I am currently in my final years in uh, I'm currently in my final final year and I'm doing BTech in computer science engineering from VIT Chennai and uh, recently I'm placed in a company called as UBS uh, with a pack with a, with a super dream package so that's absolutely nice for me 
to know this. Uh, okay, how did you uh, come to know about this plan 390 challenge? Uh, Ma'am, like since I use GFG a lot for solving coding questions, daily challenges and all those things. So, uh, and moreover, whenever I'm making some applications, so we'll be reading all those articles in GFG, right? So we have those promotions going on in GFG websites regarding the offers, which they have recently uh, came up with. So by my own, like from my, by my, from the website itself, I got to know about it. So I went for it. Okay. Uh, which, okay, you have already, uh, like told me about the courses, uh, did you face any difficulty while, uh, pursuing, uh, the challenge, like why, while, while you were in challenge? Um, I won't say I felt any difficulty because the only thing is once you pay for it and you know that you have to, you know, get that money back. So you feel a kind of motivation to do the course and complete it. And since it was a self-paced course where you have all the recordings and you just have to go and watch and do things at your own level, at your own speed. So there was no problem, nothing like that. And I felt like, okay, fine. I can give one hour, two hour daily basis. It's totally up to me. It's not like I'm attending some online classes or something, which is forcing me to, you know, sit at a sharp nine o'clock and leave at sharp 10 or 12 o'clock. So that was not there. So because of that, I was like, fine. Okay. It's my own pace at which I'm the only end goal was to complete it within three months. So that was a push factor for, especially for me, because I needed those money back. <laughs> so that's otherwise I didn't feel any uh, how much was anything. the amount? How much was the amount? Uh, the DSA course in Python was around 4.5, I guess, and 4.5K. And the other one was very less. It was like 1.5K. So both of them you combined got both, something around. Uh, so the amount refunded? I got, yeah, yes, ma'am. I yeah. got both the money back. Uh, within within 14 days, 14 working days, I got my money back. So that was actually kind of nice. I mean, at first I was like, fine, I must not get scammed or something. But no, that was not the case. I got my money back within 14 days, I guess, 14 working days. So that was really nice. What was the best part of 390 challenge? Um, ma'am, what I would say is the course structure which GFG have planned out for us. Coming to the very base, starting from the very basic, then going to the very difficult part. You have got the uh, video lectures to watch. You have got articles to read of the same video which you just watched. You have MCQ questions to attend. You have coding questions to give. So you have a proper assessment, a proper plan, a proper procedure which a student can follow. And they can, you know, you are not just learning things. It's not like you are learning things. You got your task to do because you are forced. Because not, I won't say forcing. You have got an assessment to give, a coding round to attend, MCQs to attend. And there is a cutoff also. If you don't clear those cutoffs. So, because this thing is something like you have to sit carefully read those articles, watch those videos, learn the topic, go and give the assessments and everything so that you can clear the cutoff. Then only you'll be able to claim your money back. So the entire way uh, GFG has planned the entire course is very good. I mean, even if you have zero knowledge about that field or particular course, which you have taken, no worries. If you start that course and if you are able to complete it by the end of the time you have completed it, definitely you will be way more better than your average students in your classes. So that's absolutely nice. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, any suggestion you would be giving to the geeks who are taking 390 challenge this time? Um, I would say that uh, they should not consider the fact that they are doing this to get the money back. Okay. They should not have this thing in their mind that, no, I'm taking this course because I have to complete it within three months somehow or rather have to complete it and get my money back. No, that's not the case. Rather, you should consider the fact that you are learning something out of it because once you start uh, learning or reading the subject with interest, you won't even recognize that, okay, fine. I have completed four hours of lecture today, three hours of lecture today, but if you take it as a daily task, no, today I have to do something or this much. So that won't be a kind of, you won't be able to get the most out of it actually. So what I would say, the only suggestion which I would give is that take this courses as a learning, as a journey, which you want to complete and learn things out of it. Not as a part where you get a certificate and you get your money back and you post it somewhere. No, that's not the case. You are here to learn. No worries about the money. You be sincere with your work, which you are doing. You be sincere with the subject, which you are studying. At the end of the day, you will be the one to be benefited in every possible way. You are getting the knowledge. You are getting your money back. You are getting a certificate. You are getting a recognition. You have the course also for next six or nine months. I guess there is a expiry. Uh, okay. Okay, Michelle. Uh, thank you so much for this insight. Anything else you want, uh, like you have suggestion for Geeks for Geeks and anything else you want to convey? Uh, what I would say is that ma'am, uh, the coding platform which they have provided us where they give questions and the compiler for us to compile our things, 
if maybe they could uh, you know uh, they could put the questions much more in a better way the explanation part of the question sometimes gets confusing so that's the only because i have solved a lot of questions on geek for geek so sometimes i feel like okay when this question explanation itself is quite confusing so that's the only solution other than that no complaints about the courses no complaint about the offers no complaint about anything which gmg provides us so i'm absolutely fine with it thank you so much for the suggestion and thank you for the time like it's been a, a fantastic uh, you know testimonial and we'll be surely uh, leveraging leveraging it and yeah thank you so much vishal uh